What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. Today, listen, fam. I'm gonna make um some roast. I'm just gonna make some chuck roast with some uh potatoes. Yes, sir. We're gonna do some beef and potatoes today with a little veggies in it. Yes, sir. We got a one quitter hitter. Well, we got two, a two and a half pound roast. Okay. So it was five pounds of roast, five, five pounds of beef, whatever you want to call it. All right. Also, here's the potatoes with the carrots. I skipped the carrots and the uh, mixed vegetables and some Yukon potatoes and regular potatoes. I mix it all. Yeah, sir. I got everything in one pot. I have the pan that I'm going to cook it in. First, I'm going to sear the uh, roast beef on each side. I sear it on each side. All right. Um, there's the, I'm going to make some uh, beef broth out of the bouillon. There's your minced garlic that's going in there. I got seasons stored everywhere, family. In a way, okay. There's some celery seed, some uh, sea salt, black pepper, roast beef seasoning. I got some pepper steak seasoning. Ooh wee. Yep, I'm gonna put it, put a little bit of that in there. I get you know it's a method to my man. I got my own thing. I got some beefy onion Lipton soup mix. And all right, so first thing we're gonna do, family, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix up some dry seasoning, and then we're gonna go ahead and season the beef, and we're gonna leave it in the pan until we get ready. All right. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna season the vegetables. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna season them with. Pretty much some of the same thing because we don't want to change the flavor of the entire meal. Stick with your boy. So hold on tight. I'll be right back, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pour an entire pack of the Lipton onion, beefy onion soup mix. We're gonna pour that in there, okay? I'm gonna go in next, we're gonna put some sea salt in it. I'm not gonna measure, just watch me. Do how you do, that was contempt to your heart. That's good, all right. I'm gonna go with some black pepper. Yeah, sir. Gotta have that black pepper family. Okay. That should be good. Then you got the roast beef seasoning. Mm-hmm, this is gonna be a thing of beauty. Make sure you taste your seasoning. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm out to use. Pepper steak seasoning. Mm-mm. It's gonna change the game right there, family. There you go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Mm-hmm. See the Lipton onion soup mix takes over the flavor. See that? Hey, it's hump day, family. So you know you got to eat good on hump day. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the week, everybody got to get full today. So we're going to do this. We're going to do a one quid a hit a pot. All right? Okay. So we're going to taste it. Take my finger. Man, I ain't got to do nothing else to that season. Absolutely perfect. We're going to take that season, we're going to put it all, as much as we can, all the cover both sides and on the sides of the roast beef, okay? Yes, yeah, sir, it's going down. So when we, okay, when we get through seasoning this here, we're going to sit it to the side, like I said. Then we're going to bring the pan over here. While the pan is heating up, we're going to go ahead and season the vegetables off the side. These are raw veggies, okay? Okay, then we're going to put the meat in here, into the pan. We're gonna move the meat into the, uh, the pan that we're gonna cook in. We're gonna sear both sides of the roast beef, okay? Then we're gonna leave, then we're gonna turn the, the, the stove top off. We're gonna leave it, uh, leave the roast beef in the same pan, okay? Then we're gonna add the vegetables around the side. Yes, sir. After we do that, we're going to uh, make some beef broth with the, uh, with the beef bouillon and water, okay? We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna pour it onto the vegetables and on the beef. Then we're gonna put it in the oven. Yes, sir. At 325 degrees for about three hours, we're gonna slow bake it, okay? Stick with your boy. When you have a meal like this here, sometimes you just gotta take your time. So hold on tight. I'll be right back, let's get started.
Bam, you see it. Look at that. Now that's, come on fam, that's a thing of beauty. Okay, so we're gonna move, I saved some of this here because some of this here is going to be these veggies. Yes, sir. I'm gonna move this to the side. And we're gonna bring these veggies here and we're gonna switch gloves and we'll be right back. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add one big tablespoon of minced garlic. We'll just th throw that right in there, okay? Sir, you gotta have that good garlic up in there, fam. Okay, so we're gonna take the rest of this seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle this all in here. All right. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add to it. And then now on the veggies, I'm gonna throw a little celery seed in there, okay? That's why I got it in here. Just a little bit, give it a good flavor. Celery seed, all right. Okay, now I'm going with the pepper steak seasoning on the veggies. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. Mm, mm. You don't need to put no oil in it because you're gonna have put oil in your pan and, the, and it'll be in there and then the mix with the, the water and the beef broth. Okay, it'll mix with that to make your, um, you know, to make your nice little, little, little juice, juicy gravy like, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Look at that family. Don't that look good in season? Ooh, wee. That flavor going up in that thing. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. That's what I want. Mm hmm. Come down a little bit. We're going to cook it like for four or five minutes on each side. Okay, and then we, when, when, we, when we do that, then we're going to, when, after we do that, we're going to add the veggies all the way around. Okay, we're going to set this thing up nice and pretty. Then we're going to make some beef broth and pour it in there. And we're going to cover it like halfway. And that's, I'm telling you, it's going to be a thing of beauty. Stick with your boy. So what I'm going to do, the first two hours, it's a three-hour setting because I'm doing it at 325 degrees. The first two hours, I'm going to cover it. Then the last hour, you see, you're going to have to cook it for like uh, three, three and a half hours, somewhere up in there. The last hour and a half or hour, hour between an hour and an hour and a half, I'm going to take the lid, to take the covering off of there, and we're going to cook it the rest of the way. Make sure it gives a good caramel look on the top of it. It's beef. It's roast beef. Uh, make it good, good, good in the oven. So it's going to be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Veggie, potatoes. Did that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. It looks good and seared. Okay, we're gonna make some beef broth right now. Ooh, wee. Okay, so I'm gonna take perhaps one or two and take one big scoop of this beef broth. Put it in here. Don't worry about the little clumps in there. That's all right. It's going to cook down. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Ooh, wee. Okay. I think that's all we're going to go with. One big scoop. It came out to like uh, with this spoon here. 
Because it came out to like uh, like two tablespoons. That's a big spoon there, a big serving spoon. Okay. All right, now we're going in with the veggies. I told y'all I got some for your family. Get some more vegetables on this side. <laughs> Fam, the aroma, the aroma. Yeah, man, I got the best all over the dinner, man. That boy, get ready to put that thing in your life. Oh, wee. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you see why it's sizzling? Because the stove's still a little hot and the pan is still a little hot. And that's all right. That's what we want. Oh, fam. Look at that family. Look. Man, I got to take a picture of that before it go in. Oh, we. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going in. All right. This is the broth. You can try this at home, fam. Try this recipe. We're going in halfway. We're not going to cover it. Going to make his own little juice and sauce. God, to be more careful. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. Look at it. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. There goes that man. Okay, so now we're going to take some little bit more of this pepper steak season. A little bit, just add it and sprinkle it across the top there. Yeah. You know me, man. I, mean, I, I love to see. All right, so now we're going in. We're going in the oven. We're going in. We're going to start out, like I said, at 325. We're going to cover it for like two hours. And then the last hour, we're going to uncover it. And I'm going to turn it up to three, probably around 350, three, between 350 and 375 for the last hour. Stick with your boy. And there it is, fam. Two hours and 45 minutes later. It cooked faster than I thought. Look at that. Look at all the juice that it made, family. Now, it's time for, let me show you what's going on. Ooh, wee. Okay, just so you know. Let's see, let's just grab some random, but look at it. You wanna sit it up there? Cut just like butter. There goes, there's the potatoes. Ooh, wee. Now, we're going in with the meat. Let's just go random. The juice of him. <laughs> Come right off of that. Let's get another piece. I ain't playing with y'all. Look at that. It just turned right off of that. Look at that. Look at that family. Ooh, and it's good and tender. I'm not playing with you guys. Let's get another little piece. Look at that. Just spin right off of that. You see what I'm saying? Only to now do you understand. There's a method to my madness. Ooh, wee. Now, you can eat it just like this. That's how I'm going to eat it. Or you can put some, put it over some mashed potatoes. You know how to thicken it up. You could put some flour in it if you want it a little thicker. That's what I want right there, some juice. Because uh, uh, even though I got potatoes, uh, Teresa's going to have some rice with her. You know she got to have some rice with her, even when we got potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and eat my just like this. Family, it's been real. And here's my finished plate. You're going to love this recipe. Ooh, wee. Yes, my mouth watering right now. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. And there it is. Beef and potatoes, family, with a little vegetables in it. OMG. Family, it's been real. Y'all going to love this one here, family. I'm going to serve this to baby. And I'm going to, this mine right here. But I'm going to make hers in a minute. I just want you to see how I will eat it. All right? So how is it? Beef and potatoes and veggies, fam. It's, thin, it's good and tender. You tell them how it tastes. Delicious. <laughs> the seasoning is perfect. Stick with your boy. Mm. <laughs> Then we're well, another winner, another banger fan. So you think I'm really cool? Mm -hmm. See, that's one thing. Um, men, be careful when you spoil your women. So I tell you, you don't, don't want it all. You don't start something you can't finish. I'm stuck like Chuck. Love y'all to life. G, reach out.
in your mind. Bye, y'all. I told you she's going to have some rice with it. She loves it. Mm-hmm.